If everybody will just just stay right right there just a moment. Right now, Lord God, I speak over Israel. Yes. Lord God, I speak over the land of Israel. Yes. Lord God, the land that has the enemy has tried to sow with blood. The land the enemy wants with every fiber of his existence. But this land was given to Abraham forever and his seed. And in the name of Jesus right now, we call for total victory in Israel from every corner of that nation, every border, every, every province in Israel. In the name of Jesus, we call for the failure of Iran to attack Israel. I call for the failure of Russia to begin to bully Israel. I call for the, for the failure of every regime, every nation that would come against that land to destroy it. Now, Lord God, I ask you in the name of Jesus to give Netanyahu yes. wisdom beyond wisdom, wisdom beyond his day, wisdom, Lord, of Solomon, the wisdom of Solomon, Lord God, that he can live in peace and keep the nation in peace. And I ask you, Lord God, to anoint him like David to know when to go and when to stay. And Lord God, this man is a man called of you. He's not only a king, but he's a prophet. And Lord, I ask you to speak within his being that he will hear your voice. And right now, we intercede for Israel, for peace, peace, peace. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace of Jerusalem. Lord God, this is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now and send now prosperity to Jerusalem. And Lord, I give you praise and honor and glory for it. Well, what do I say about that, Lord? What do I say about that? From the mountains in Israel into the very city, to every province and every road. For the blessing of the Lord is upon you. And the blessing of the Lord is raising you up among the nations like a shining and bright jewel. For you will be spared and saved from the, from the plans and plots of the evil around you. For Israel is mine, saith the Lord. They are the apple of my eye. And there will be no tyrant poke his finger in my eye. For I am going to show among the heathen that I am God. I am going to show among the Arabs that I am God. I am going to show among the Islamic nations that I am God. And I am going to show in China that I am God. And there will be such a cry go up from the earth that they will begin to call for peace and say, let that train come here. Let that train come to our shores and let it come to us. For says the Lord, I have Israel in my hand. And I never sleep or slumber, and I watch over them, and I will watch over them. For the day I wrestled with Jacob is still fresh in my mind. In the day I called Abraham, Abram from his land is still fresh in my mind. In the day I gave Abraham a piece of heaven called paradise. And a piece of the earth called Canaan. The day I did all of these things is still fresh in my mind. For I still remember how Abram stayed up in the night. And in the horror of great darkness. And drove the fowl from his sacrifice. And drove the birds of prey away. Even so today, Israel will drive the birds of prey away. I speak of drones and I speak of birds of prey that would attack my lands. You will not attack my lands. I blow them and they hit a headwind they cannot stand. For I'm going to rumble the caverns of Iran where the drone factories are. And I'm going to cause a collapse to take place. 
and the bear will have to buy drones from another place. For this is going to happen, says the Lord, for Abram drove the fowls from his sacrifice and it forever set a precedent that he will drive the fowl and his covenant will drive the drones from his land. For this is a decree, says the Lord, and I have said it. It is a sure word, and you will hear of it soon. Remember these things, says the Lord. When the fighter jets of Israel strike the ground with fire as they streak up into the air and move into a deliverance position. For Israel will now have people who will seek to make alliances with them. And I will backhand a jackal out of their way. For I did not raise up the USA to be silent in Israel's defense. I raised you up and connected you to, to my land so that you could be a defense for them and a shield for them. And you, O oh jackal, and jackals in the crowd who are howling and running, you will be staved off from Israel. For I will and already have the eyes that sound like a trumpet looking at them for deliverance, says the Lord. So hear these things and hear them well. For those who do not heed to help Israel will be reapers of hell. Hell on earth. Hell in your lives. Hell in your families and hell in your wives. Hell underground and hell in the caverns of the damned. Hell, says the Lord, is something for you to avoid, says the I Am. But Israel's mine, and I will once again part seas to deliver them. So when you stretched your hands toward Israel, you stretched your hands at me. Summon me from the throne, and I will come in my chariots of fire to their rescue. For now, you speak of UFOs. There will be one scene that you do not know. For you have deceived the people with such a ridiculous, asinine thing. But I am going to show something in the skies by the spring. And you will not know where it came from or where it goes. But I will, says the Lord. And I told you through a prophet so that you would know. Hallelujah! It is angry. 
Whoever saw a jackal shove a hook through a bear's face? And he is angry. But the people in the land of the bear still hold their hands up and worship me, says the Lord. So do not hate. Just pray. And I will intervene. For the time will come when they will come down on the land of the hills of Israel. But this is not the time. There is a time coming. But this is the time for the train, the Jesus train, to move through every land, even Russia. Take heed to the word of the Lord. Take heed to the word of the Lord. I thought you didn't want me to say that. Take heed to it. For the Lord is on the move. And the lion is moving. With the eyes of an eagle. And the teeth of a lion. Hallelujah. Mordecai was a prophet. He prophesied when he said, if you don't speak, he said the enlargement yeah. and deliverance will come from another place. The enlargement. He was speaking of this attack. Israel is set to enlarge itself. And in the time of the enlargement, Whatever you believe what the prophets say. Then you will partake of the enlargement. No wonder the prophets were attacked. To not believe their words. Three years ago. How. Quickly, people forget the encouragement and the words of a prophet. When the prophet started talking, the people took courage. But when someone decides that you can take a mask off your face that never did a hill of beans anyway, but a man decided you didn't have to gag your mouth then suddenly people forget the words of the prophets who spoke for their deliverance who stood up when you were too afraid to open your mouth and now they come to attack and Mordecai said it is the time of enlargement but whatever you believe about the prophets determines your partaking of that. It's amazing how quick people forget. Where was those attackers when this happened? Where was everybody who attacked the prophets when, when all of this roared through the earth and scared the church that had no power at all? And the prophets saw through it. And suddenly started saying, God hasn't forgotten you. God has given us this word. And they start speaking the words and speaking the words. And people rose up to cheer and said, yes, God is with us. God is with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then as soon as a bunch of liars told you you didn't have to wear a mask anymore, then people forget the prophets and say, Make them sign this petition. Make them do this. Make them do that to hell with your petition. Because I'm not signing a petition. Tell me when I can prophesy. You're not God. Well, apologize. Why don't you? Why don't you apologize? Stop.
stand up and criticize a prophet. A prophet is a servant of the Lord. And they're vulnerable because they put themselves out. I didn't hear them put themselves out. And now they're saying the same things that the prophets prophesied, but they're saying they heard it when they criticized the prophet for saying it. At least have the courtesy to say, I never heard that from God. I heard those prophets I hate say it. Were you angry, Brother Robin, at the devil? Well, you look so stern when you prophesy. Have you ever had heaven grab you by the back of the coat and shake you like that and say, talk? This is the time for you to believe. And the decision is, has to be made. Because it's a decision of your whole future. Yeah. It's a decision of the wealth transfer. Money seems to mean so much to so many. It's a decision of the wealth transfer. Because if you believe the prophets, you prosper. I have watched wagging tongues of dogs attack prophets until I've watched them beat their heads down until they drop their heads like this. You've attacked the servant of the Lord that you had no right to judge. They are servants of his court. And they came into the earth to tell you his degree, decree. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, he said. Those who stone the prophets. Kill the prophets and stone those I send to you. The stoning and the killing of prophets happens not from the people of the world. But from the people of God. What can make a prophet stand and prophesy even while they're sawing them asunder like Isaiah? What can make a prophet stand and prophesy? What can make Moses sit on a, and stand and, and hold his arms up for a whole battle? And sit on a rock and at least and prop his arms up because he didn't want to see the sheep die. It's a time of decision. And you who attacked and criticized the prophets, you better breathe carefully. You breathe very lightly. And you go before God and repent. Because you have attacked his very officers and he took it personally. Harvest is coming. nothing for the sheep you cared nothing for my lambs and you cared nothing for the sheep of my pastor you scattered them like a wolf you smote the prophets and attacked in front of the sheep and you drove my sheep away but you're a hireling 
And you will run when they're attacked. And you will leave them alone. And the little lambs will cower in fear because you have no words to protect them. You have no fire coming out of your mouth to consume the enemies that would take them. You attack with no thought for the lambs. No thought for the flock. You didn't love them. You didn't look at them. And you didn't care how their children would remember prophets I sinned. You just didn't care. But I cared. And I looked to them. You didn't. So you attacked with no thought. You have sowed a seed for attack with no thought. For this is a move that is coming. How many words of prophets have to come to pass before you will admit I had to have told them these things? How many? For I have shown you over and 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 over fulfillments of words. Should someone define a prophet who's not a prophet? Should someone say they know all about their call? that have never heard me whisper one time in the night. Should they say I don't have any modern prophets when they have no idea what one is? Nay. Nay. So why would we speak at this time on this stage today? Because the flock is watching. The flock is watching. And I'm raising up Davids to run the lions down. I'm sending Samuels to anoint a generation of Davids. For I sent the oil. I sent the Samuels. And now the Jesus revolution will be the Davids. And it is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Remember these words today. Remember the words today. For you have attacked and beat down people far better than you. Far in their love are better. Far in their hearing is better. Not that I love more, but that is more developed. Repent now, and I will bring you back up to a place to enjoy the next move. Stay where you are and enjoy your own move. For this is the word, and this is sure. Watch it happen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.